Yes, I'll call it in the car! Yes! A dream team! <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'm putting it on my new favourite show, eh? Uh, this is my favourite. I look forward to, to this one. Most. It, love it, though. <laughs> nah, I'm All kidding. Right, that is my favourite face. Love it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you have changed, though, Dale, haven't you? When I first know you were like. You're still serious at times, but you were proper. I'm and very serious. Honest. I'm but now you've got me. Oh, no, no you've got Kenny on side now, haven't you? Uh, oh, no, I, enjoy your, brilliant, no. I enjoy your company. It's, no, it takes a while to get, get to know you boys and what you're all about. What? Shut myself when I said that to you there. <laughs> no. I did say, uh, well, obviously, I've b- created quite a bond. There's two guys who are going to come to the game Friday night. One fucking turned up and one sat in his ass in the house. So yeah, who do you, I wonder who they think's done that. Absolute laziness on my part. No fancy coming to watch your boys now. Aye, aye. Uh, when's, that See your travel Saturday fucking, party, your travel around the world to watch your boys. <laughs> you want to go into the return game against the Cali Braves? So, because <laughs> <so, laughs> it's at Strathclyde Park. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, big thanks to James and Fan. What a guy coming again. And then came down to the... Mate, I'm not just saying this, when he walked in, the boys were a wee bit, I could see their faces. I yeah. wonder, but... They were a bit of a fucking No, they were buzzing, mate. I actually buzzing to see you. I know, obviously, a few of them for Motherwell, the younger ones. Um, but it was brilliant. I loved the game. Uh, good good boy, performance. Yeah. I wish I'd have turned up twenty minutes into the game and no have to witness that first twenty. <laughs> <laughs> we watched After it yesterday. That, it was <laughs> honestly top drawer. Well Thanks, done. Mate. You've done. You've done great. Uh, he's he is as well. We've, we've all done all right. But he was the boys. He was. I know. You know. You know. You're waiting a bit to see I it. I didn't know you were in. I was going to. I didn't. Know, I told uh, you I was going. I, but I didn't know you were going to come down to the, the dressing room. But it, all the boys were saying it was incredible. That's a lovely time. Well, I'm coming down to the dressing room. I, I wasn't there, it was Big Kev, I saw, he's like, come down, I, I would have just went, no one to... Big Kev was in getting a and shower, wasn't he, with the boys? <laughs> <laughs> that was strange, you know, I didn't want to start to beat his for doing that. done a shite in the dressing room, didn't he, never went for a shower. <laughs> was the smell of his, was the smell of his boys still lingering about the dressing room, could you smell it when you went in? I knew, I knew it was, they were his, but I was looking for him. I, I followed the scent, but it was right out the front door. <laughs> <laughs> Got his dick out for the first time. First time this it. season. He said to and, the boys and, before the game, if he's won the game. Impressive. Terrible, mate. It was already last day, but wasn't it? it? Think of that. But you, see if you do that with your pinky and just get the. the wee <laughs> Even after you terrible. After terrible. After he said the wee shaving all that as well. No, it was bushy. Oh, you know, it was bushy. Yeah, right. What a that. Do you know? Do you know? Can tap it? Oh, is that day? Can tap it all right? Do you remember that? That's for sure. Do you know what I hate? By the way, and I was thinking about chicken pie. Uh, That's the worst meal in the fucking world, isn't chicken it? Pie. Do you? Uh, you go for your chicken pie. Don't your bow bit of chicken pie. Because <laughs> <laughs> when, 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 when he does that, it looks pie. like a chicken. Because he prefers a steak pie with wee sausages on it. I don't like pie you like. <laughs> oh, boy, magic. Nah, when he nah, says, well, obviously, he's had a family evicted for their houses now to pay the... The, the training fees, so mate, honestly, but I can't believe I've done, said that. So I said that. Remember, I said yeah. last week about chasing people up for money. Mate, I get a fucking barrelload <laughs> of people message me saying you're a scumbag, not that chasing people up nah, for money. Name, that is out of order, isn't it? <laughs> family fortune, family fortunes, off people, we like his debt collector. <laughs> he debt collector. That's that's not right. it's not, listen, I'll say people are going in for free or whatever. Let them place. Just so there you go. The book is on next week for free. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you can just turn up. Where is it? Is that no, that one? You can come the first couple of free, and then it's two and a half pound a week. <laughs> no, listen, and I'll chase you. No, listen. We we business doesn't run itself, does it? No. So you need to you need to be further in this. In this you need to be what? Ruthless, really, with the pelts. <laughs> Maybe ruthless in that, the pelts, no, no, so don't, don't fuck about this. <laughs> no, I'll cut that out. I'll cut that out. <laughs> no, you're threatening them. No, I'll cut that out. What's, the theme, that what's the theme for Boca next week? He's got to <clears throat> The fans are the boys want to come. Do they? Uh, I'll pay. I'll pay this no, time. You're not no, I'll pay. Uh, do you bring your boy up? Where is it? Um, Gale, uh, Glasgow Gaelic School, Finnison. Uh, 10 o'clock to 3. Yeah. If you want to come early at 9 o'clock, whatever, we'll be there setting up, they can help out. It's a good wee thing as well for them to help out and set, uh, set up with. Gives them a wee bit of discipline and respect for the rest of your life, doesn't it? Your boys, would they fancy that? I think it'll be a bit too old for that. I think so, mate. It's hard work, that. You take any age, though, didn't you? What, you for five? Ah, is you it take five years old? Ah, P1 to seven. Well, I tell you what, that's hard. That's P1 hard work with the younger ones, it mm. is. Nothing older. No, because that stage you can start challenging, you know. Oh, right. <laughs> 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 I mean, you can battle the primary sevens, but not the first years. <laughs> <laughs> well, mate, he has actually been offered the square goal. What was it? The boys outside your pitch a couple of weeks ago. Oh, <laughs> mate, the worst ever. I was like, I got the pitch, we're on this. I'm like, no. I'm oh, off. Oh, that's the worst better when they go, no. I'm like, move it. And then, so what does somebody say again? Somebody came to us. Right. But I've turned around and who said that? But see, because there was about six of me, I'm like, look at here. <laughs> Can't somebody say something to us? I can't know what they call us. 
but it's horrible that trying to chase the boys off a pitch. Yeah, you, hey, you got to pacify them and give them, let them come on. If you're working in a certain area, no, you fuck. I, you no, you can't. You can't. By the way, when I was when I was taking extra uh, arm, we were going to different places all around about in Glasgow. By the way, make friends with them. Don't create an enemy there. By the way, no, because no. even when you're training. And you're getting rockets fired at you and all that, and boulders and getting chucked at you. Yeah, hey, you need to like, yeah, I'm make not, friends I'm not with them. man. Next week, just in But I just did that happen to you? And the boulders and all that. I think it was out in Coat Bridge. We were training in, in one of the schools one night, and one of the boys had been cheeky. A few of them, the younger ones. But when I'd been up, I'd says you can play there until we come into this area. And uh, so just kick about and all that. But one of the boys. Uh, mm. A week later, had told him uh, where to go, and then uh, we're training, and there was a few bricks getting lobbed at us and all that. So, uh, brilliant, aye. Uh, it's not on your eye, uh, but listen, they, they don't want to kick the ball about. And if there is a wee area, you can let them let them play. You know what I mean? Because they're not allowed no. to play in the street and all that. Mm -hmm. So, I'm I'm kind of always kind of uh, let them. But let Derek, them go nothing happens, and you know nothing happens with foot, Grosvenor Sport. A new offer from Grosvenor Sport this weekend is so double the odds for new sign up. That was your first in that ten pound bet. Beautiful. Sign up at gsport.com forward slash open. Is that not goal. the same offer as every week? No, no I don't know it's not. It's a brand new offer. Believe me, <laughs> it's just a wee bit different, mate. We we'll just tweaked it a bit. Well, we'll we'll tweaked it in favour of the customer. There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you only happy last night, mate? Were you in the game? No, there's a few things getting through a bit. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> but know the cat. Um, <laughs> know the cat. No, I, Definitely I, know the cat. Well, animals weren't. <laughs> no, I've got a lot of love from my cat. Real, real Lucy. <clears> but uh, uh, there was a wee bit frustrated, shall we say, towards the end. First half, it was, it was great in terms of what I wanted them to do get, get in about them, be aggressive. They went a wee bit longer, second balls. Uh, obviously, get the goal, had another chance we, uh, okay. as well. But get into the second half. Uh, I think they learned a wee bit Liverpool for the first half. They upped it in terms of the the, the tempo they played it, but uh, we just kind of we fizzled out. I thought that tempo that we played in the first half. I, I don't think we, it was we were going to be able ever be able to uh, <clears throat> do that the full ninety. So I thought the managers should have even at half time had thought about maybe like kind of making changes after like an hour, mm -hmm. you know, just to kind of get more legs in there. Because you you knew we Liverpool, they were going to respond to mm. that. Their class would would tell, but you need to get closer to them, and you can't allow them. And what, but once they get into the groove, they were just unstoppable. He said, he said they wanted to make changes, though, didn't they? Run about the other map, but then Gio, <coughs> excuse me, that the injury to Goldson and Jack. Well, and Jack went out, Jack and, and, and Jack's a worry because I, I hate to say it, but you know. The injuries that he picks up and all that, it doesn't look as, his body looks as if it's going to let yeah. him down at times, Faddy. And I hate saying that because he's a, he's a top player, good player, but. Uh, well, we spoke about this, didn't we? About the having got, to manage injuries and manage your training, mm. and uh, it's tough with the games when the games mm. are coming and it's, aye. you know, every every three days, it's tough to aye. get back for it. My thought was after it was such a good mm. first 45 minutes, I'd be saying to the boys, certainly in the midfield area, the likes of Jack, the likes of Lundstrom, Arfield, can you give us another 15 minutes of that? Then I'm going to change it. I'm going to get bodies on to try and stay with them. Uh, and they never, I mean, they, they made the changes with about, what, what was it? The, the game was gone. Yeah, I'm right. talking, even with the third goal goes in, I think, right, <laughs> let's not get a doing here. Let's get fresh it's legs on. Easy though, didn't uh, it? The goals were just aye. going in. Because we were out early and there, you're talking about Golson. It just shows you how important Golson is mm, to yeah. Rangers, you know, because he's, I mean, he's been phenomenal times. The amount of games that he's played, he's a stalwart in there. So sometimes we're quite critical of him, and it just shows you how much we missed him. But we needed legs, so we did. Uh, and look, look at how they changed it up when they went three-one, and then you look who they bring on. You know, the Salah the comes on, on Thiago. Mm -hmm. It is the difference. But uh, but for how well we done in that first forty-five minutes, for it to just to crash like that in the last twenty yeah. minutes, twenty. Three minutes was it? Twenty three, twenty one. I don't know, but uh, oh, I was honestly. So did you actually smash this up? A couple of things get through, aye, but that was it. I uh, couldn't uh, just. Put no, what were you flying? Mm -hmm. You buzzed mm -hmm. a bit. No, just <laughs> tumbles and then it was air cushion, just the usual. Just end this about when you get a bit. You know mm -hmm. what it's like when you get a bit irate, mm -hmm. isn't it? When you, Is, was that know, towards the end though? Because of towards how, the end, you know, the game was done. Was that the, because how they reacted to that? Never managed to lay a glove on them at all. 
Is Aye. that mere because it, of how the game finished? It, because then it became embarrassing Aye. towards the end. Mm -hmm. It became so easy and that was the frustration. I mean, you look look at the stadium. We spoke about it before we've come on here. You know, the place emptied and there was, it was, it felt embarrassing, you know, and uh, and I just think, when I look at it overall, you know, the next mm -hmm. day, I think, could the players, I think the players gave everything they had. I think the manager could have managed the game a bit better, to be honest with you. Uh, just my what, so when it goes three one, just goes. See when it goes three one. For, for me, uh, I don't know if you watching it. The game's done. So the next thing I'm thinking, listen, they're going to make changes. Get don't get an absolute hammer. Don't get humiliated. And that's that's what happened in the end up. You know, and and I don't care who we're playing. We shouldn't get beat seven one. You know, at Ibrooks. So that's how it was. It was frustrating. That's how a few things were getting booted and and through a bit. But that's, do you think there's pressure on Van Bronckhorst mm. now? Well, because they finished seven. Because seven, and they've been, you know, getting some battles now this season, haven't they? We mm. sailed to Ajax, Napoli. Mm -hmm. um, well, no, not so much Napoli. Napoli, sorry, that was mis Na mistaken. See, Napoli, they, they, they try to go toe to toe. Aye, them, Napoli but was what was it? See, the other thing as well, now we talk about the quality that Liverpool and the Napolis have got and the Ajax and all that. But what surprised me is, well, I don't know if it's a surprise, see the fitness levels of these guys, these top players, what, what you talk about, oh, uh, like how they can move the ball about their dribble or not. Mm. The fitness level is frightening. So it is how they can maintain that. So it helps when you score goals, but then it because uh, uh, you know you've been in a situation you. where you lose mm -hmm. a goal and then you're maybe seeing Salah and that coming on and you yeah. think you need to go again and the game's mm. finished and it, it does become it does become harder and you need to probably try and process that as quick as you can mentally where you feel like everything's an effort mm -hmm. after that when it's I, going well you, you get that energy and things are effortless you do things I, you know simple and they, they seem to work but when you're, you're I, up it, against it and it's, it, it's always the, harder aye, if I did the physicality I'm talking about the, the running power but even mentally they look tired looked aye. as if they had just gone mm. they blew up and they were like ah, so oh it was uh, what it, is, I can't even work out at all because last season the run they got to the final Beating and the top teams and then beat like PSV. As fuck, didn't they? They played two days later in the cup. In the cup. And then they beat PSV um, this season, amazing away from home. And then I know the, the, the mm -hmm. teams are maybe they are a bit higher quality, but I think, I think up until the well, they they done it with an Apple game, but the, the the game against Ajax, the game against Liverpool, was more about sitting back and trying to catch them on the break. Mm -hmm. They didn't have that energy, whereas they started well, they had that energy, they, they got after them, they pressed them high up the pitch, they got the ball forward as quick as they could, and they caused them problems. Mm -hmm. And the drop-off happened almost straight away. You know, as soon as the second half kicked off, it was mm -hmm. like, that wasn't happening. Mm -hmm. So that's no fitness. Do you think that's a tactic? I don't, I don't was think so. Was it a tactic so, half time to drop No, because he, he spoke, didn't he, Gio, after I, the game and I, said he was disappointed that they kept playing Short, Slow, short passes, mm -hmm. allowing them to press them. They mm -hmm. didn't get it forward. They weren't the direct. They weren't the picking up second mm -hmm. ball. So I don't know if it was a bit of they've, they had the one now. They got the left it. It was a brilliant goal, by the way. Arfield mm -hmm. scored, but then they lose a the goal so close to the the half time. The players may be thinking, I, I, we take a one each year. We'll, we'll take mm -hmm. a draw. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you know the players subconsciously mm -hmm. saying, right, don't take that risk. risk don't yeah. play that forward pass. Be a wee bit safer and. No pass the buck, but you know what? It's sometimes it's like right, you go and try and do something yeah. instead of somebody stepping mm. up and saying, "I'm going to hit that pass, I'm going to make that run." Mm. Didn't really happen in the see, second see half. And then when they go three up, it, it really could be anything yeah. after yeah. that because it's hard to recover. See if that information then is passed on to mm. them at half time. You know, don't play the shorter game. Don't invite the Montes. Go a wee bit longer. No, I didn't see him. No, I wasn't at the game, so it's harder for me to see. I'm just sitting in the telly. You should be on the touchline no, going off his nut. Nice. You don't, quite wouldn't you? Aye, so you would be there and having a go at them. And if they're not going to listen, what do you do? You change it up. I just thought he should have changed it up on the hour. Because, uh, and you've seen it with Celtic a wee bit. You know, Celtic did unbelie unbelievably well up to about that hour mark. And then it just starts to fade, fade. And it's if they can't keep that, now that, that momentum up. And it was with Rangers. I knew they wouldn't be able to keep that up. Because they're not used to playing that way. So that's how I think he needs so to you get legs. So you got the both, wasn't it? Sorry, that's probably why 60 minutes, because what, what did Celtic against Leipzig like 30% possession mm -hmm. or something? That's mm. tough when you're running that, they've got the ball that much, game. you're just chasing the full game, aren't you? It's tough to keep it up for 90 minutes. Aye. And Have you got like, serious concerns over Van Bronckhorst then, for the way you're talking? Aye, aye, of course, because uh, we've had a few doings already this season. You know, the, the, the Celtic one, you've, you mentioned it's Slaney, uh, Bernie at it. 
Uh, and in that game last night, I, ju- I don't think it's I don't think it's acceptable. And I know Liverpool are a fantastic team. They've beaten Bournemouth already nine nothing this mm-hmm. season, and you know, but they've not been quite at it. But it's still not acceptable for for me. My opinion for Rangers to get beat seven one at home. But it's tough for these managers as well. <coughs> Said it before. Try to com- try to compete with the finances. Mm-hmm. And then oh. if you're losing key players, you need your best eleven to go and compete uh, with these teams. Uh, I think financially, mm-hmm. Celtic Rangers will be It's hard as well to change. Like when they're bringing on yeah. Salah, Thiago, Andy Robertson comes on, like you need to react to that, mm-hmm. you know, in an instant. Mm-hmm. You need to make sure, right, what we're doing here? Are we going yeah. to try and go and bring energy to, mm-hmm. to combat their energy, or, yeah. or are you going to try and keep it tight? And the how quick the goals go in as well. The game's then gone. So what is you, what, what do you do? Mm-hmm. Sit back and we'll take a four. It's hard to get that message on the pitch, isn't you? The I think it is. Like. So then that's up to the players to respond to that on the pitch. I, I totally get it. And I agree with you when it comes to the manager, what's the day to maybe make wee tweaks and, and changes, but the players are on the pitch. They're the ones that are, that are feeling it. They're the ones that are maybe getting done, um, are, are the ones that are playing the, the safe, slow passes. Yeah. You, you've got to be yeah, able the to manage can't that play the full pitch. game for them, no, can't can uh-huh. And the one who's playing the, the, the short, slow passes was our captain last night, Tavernier. Mm. Too often. Often. defending for the first goal. I just floated a wee ball into the front area and he heats it in. Yeah. Set-ups. Uh, it's the set-ups it is him, but the Sakala as well is too you know, far I, beyond I, the, the near post. Really have never seen a goal like and he's too, he's too wide. It's an in-swinger. Yeah, step in, be in line yeah. with the post, step ah. in. If you need to then go and attack it, he, he totally misjudges the flight ah. of the ball. Mm-hmm. He actually goes and by the time he tries to get something on it, it's inside his left shoulder. Mm. So I, I I get that. Yeah. Far too easy. And that. he could do, he should do better, Tavernier, but it's not all him. Aye, yeah. set up, aye. I broke emptied quickly. What was it you emptied quickly mm. last night? Aye, boys, wasn't it? That's just an instant reaction, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> not even a thought about what he's saying. <laughs> just, <laughs> just natural. <laughs> but see what I'm, by the way, see what I'm talking about. I'm talking about last year about the were excellent the manager. I mean, I thought the manager tactically at Europe was excellent. <sighs> uh, during the game, we've seen things and done it, whatever. But see we Bassi and Aribo can they've not replaced it too either. See when you talked about well, last year. And I know they're same players, but no at that. See when you talked about last year about that energy and all that, that physicality. We've seen it. That was Bassi. And that, that was probably a yeah, And yeah, they yeah, had that's that. That's why they played that. And see when you do level. think back and you look at the games, who was the one that was that Bassi was bombing up and player, doing it? It was Bassi. Aye. Mm-hmm. So it was. So did they, did they miss that? Do you think these performances in the in Champions League could sort of spill into the league? And have an effect on the league, doesn't it? You must take, you must, your so confidence far. must go, maybe getting beat seven there. Huh? Look what happened to Dundee United after they got beat for nine against the top. The team. Rangers have they, they seem to be dealing with that all right though in the league so far, but didn't they? Seven. No, no, that's a I know, but I think you use as as a as a staff, as as players, you look at it and say Liverpool could do that, mm. they might teams. They could it. they could so uh, all right, the analysis will be on where you fell short and how you could do better, but you need, you need to try and get rid of it, but a seven, a seven is a tough one. We spoke about this, you know, before with Dundee United losing the European game. What happened after that uh-huh. is they've been on a run of, you know, Took terrible results. Yeah. But I would imagine that they will be, they'll be on that to make sure it doesn't happen because Champions League, it's not a bonus. It's a reward for last season. It's a reward mm-hmm. for getting through the, the qualifiers. Yes, <clears throat> but they were in a group you look at Napoli we're talking about Liverpool doing it look at Napoli that's that group, group, absolutely that. phenomenal mm-hmm. surprised everybody I think mm-hmm. so the, they're probably looking at it saying very best we can get second we'll try and get third to make sure we stay in Europe but likelihood is they were favourites to finish fourth anyway so it's back to you know business for them into the league and, and make sure they, they, they don't let it affect them Van Bronckers obviously had a bit of criticism but should the recruitment Team have yeah a bit of criticism as well. Has the recruitment been good enough? No, because you look at Bassi, you look at Aribo. I don't think they've been replaced. That we talk about that physicality, mm. that strength, that power, and we haven't. I mean, the boy Yilmaz is is no he's no figure. It's bizarre that one. Uh, well, I, again, I get he's a young boy and all that, and it'll take him a, a wee bit of time. It, yeah, just, well, listen, I'm no Barisic fan. Rangers have got that luxury to go and buy players I, that you n- see hold, a wee bit on Barisic. I know because I'm not his biggest fan. I just think he, uh, and that goes away back to the, the Celtic with the last the, season. I were in my opinion, he bottled it. And I look at, I'll see if you look to last night defensively, if you look at some of the goals, uh, can he do better? Absolutely. And he was so negative, even I think the commentator, 
was saying last night, he keeps, keeps passing it back and should have already stripped back. Doesn't he take... Ah, hey, back in. Basically, where are you? See, <laughs> see, <laughs> see, <laughs> see, <laughs> one, see one of the recruitment about have they uh, have they been good enough or not though? But you say they brought John Suter in and the boy Tom Lawrence. Yes. Two of them being injured. injured. So they would be probably filling in for your bass in the wouldn't they? Am I rang there? Ah, am I wrong? No, you're no. no. If you look no. at John Suter, no. Suter, no. Suter, Suter was for me in case Goldson didn't sign a new contract. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he right wasn't playing the left. Yeah. He wasn't. I know he can play there. He's better at the right step, out and hitting the diagonals, playing balls into midfield, playing it up to strikers. Mm -hmm. I think he was there as as a a replacement for Goldson. what looked like Goldson was going to leave. But the Yilmaz one, I know he's young and he's not ready. But when you've no, when you're not spending a lot of money, is it? Is it right to bring in a project at five four, million four or five I million? Know, I'm not saying a project. I, like, that was... I don't think he was brought in as a project. I, I, I why really is he not ready if he's playing every week for Besiktas last year? Well, that's mm. obviously the, the the feel that he's not ready to play mm. because of you know what he's what he's bringing or what he can he bring to the team. So I think that's where you look at recruitment. And say, mm. well, why was he signed? Did you need to bring in? A backup to. In fact, he looks, to, he looks the total opposite about Bassey. Mm. Was you know, oh, in terms mm -hmm. of stature and mm. the power and the pace, he looks as if he's maybe a mere neat and tidy football uh, player. Well, you know, I don't know. Well. Saw enough of him. You look I, at um, Bassey and Aribo. Bassey was what two hundred grand. Yeah. Aribo mm. was on a free or compensation as well to Charlton. Charlton yeah. So they've then come in and, and made themselves the players. They've been given Man. the platform. They've made themselves. Then they've moved them on to then bring in a young boy that's. Talked about, you know, quite well at an international and he's no playing. Mm, for four mm, million. And that, that's a different pressure. Bassey came in and it was like Aye. in and out, in and out, see how he plays, left back, mm -hmm. left centre back. And then he has a season, uh, absolute dreams last season. And you're like, you know, where did that come from? Whereas yeah. the expectations straight away is on, on Yilmaz to come in and be in the team. So yeah. he's obviously feeling that. Aye. If you come in at 200 grand or a free, you know you've got to prove yourself. You know you're fighting to get in the team. You want to show everybody you're good. You're coming in five million international left back. You think I'm getting into play? play yeah, so yeah, then you, you're not playing. You go, why am I not playing? You, mm -hmm. you spent all this money on me. Mm -hmm. The one thing he's telling him because he started the season on fire, didn't he? But uh, he's, he's been played out of position. It's yeah. so again with the managers. That's just what I'm saying. He's even doing at Anfield, you know, with the boy, you get absolutely ripped apart with a lot of the fans. He was played in uh, out of position. Wide right, right, right. Aye. You know, and we we'll go to remember as well, he's only 20 mm. as well. He's still a young boy. But uh, if you're going to play him, play him in his right position. You know, but I think he, he looks a player that needs to be playing in a team that are, you know, on the front foot, that are no up against it. But uh, no, I just think uh, that's done to the manager. The manager, I think it, it was a wee bit unfair in the boy. I'm, and I'm arguing, I will stick up for him because he has got ability, Aye. can play, but he needs to be playing in the right position. He's not played a lot of football, has he, before he, before no, he came manager. Yeah. So you're going to get spells where it's maybe not working. And but answer that fact, why did he play him at Anfield then? Why would you go mm. and away play? Away home, I know when you're going to be a defender. Uh -huh. Aye, so why would you play? That, that, that's why I was scratching my old napper here. I know you're looking at that, I know it's not that. a lot happening up there, but... But I was Pulling scratching, I was just going, ah, you're right, good, <laughs> <laughs> But I said, I was scratching my head, I'm going, why are you playing Tillman? And a game of that magnitude, when they're going to be coming at you, waves your attack, that's not his game. It's so Because he can take the ball in, maybe it's to get him as high as you can and get him to take a bit of pressure, aim, you know, hit him, whether it's the diagonals, hit him in the air or whatever. Mm. It obviously didn't work because he didn't play that way. No, but that's obviously why they've they've changed it for for this game. And Sakala came in and talk about recruitment. Sakala barely played a minute, and he by the way he, he's done well. He's done, all right. he's done, done okay, well, yeah. but in an ideal scenario, he wouldn't be playing. So that shows you there is an issue with the recruitment because he wouldn't be mm -hmm. in a team that you're saying right Rangers need to win to salvage it for Europe. And Sakala is one of the guys that you think ah, he he should play. Yeah, 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 I get what you're saying. I could be wrong, but I'm sure my, my sources have told me that Goldson left eyebrows and crutches last night. Ah, did you so it was on. Did you watch again? And I've we tried need to know who the source is. It was on the camera. It was on the camera. I was seeing him like. <laughs> and did you see the woman that was behind him? Was that his missus? Who was she carrying? Yeah, a nice box. All right. Oh, what was the joint? I thought it was for a cat. I thought it was for a cat. I thought it was for a cat. I've got something about cats in the hand. Are we carrying it? Are we going fishing, aren't we? So, I like cats. Did you see that? Especially so, when you're going so, to be a mother. So, that's what it was, aye. That's what it was, aye. I thought it was a cat box. 
<laughs> Why the fuck would she shoot a cat into the game? Oh, was a cat mate, like, you don't watch that film, Bob? Nah. No. No, I don't know the film, I've not seen it, but I know it's a great film. Honestly, imagine sitting at the game as a cat. A cat named Bob, it's called, isn't it? Bob, aye. No, a sneak cat named Bob, isn't it? By the way, Goldstein. So Bob, mate, aye, just like Bob, a cat mate, like, fuck that. We have a these, these cats in the brain. brain. <laughs> you know what I talk about Goldson and <laughs> but Goldson, I wait by the way, I wait in my own Goldson's mm. missing. Oh, and that yeah, that could be. That's Jack as well. That. Obviously, Jack. Jack, Jack as well. I mean, the other types that you need when you go for a party. Well, isn't there? He's been brilliant for Rangers. Um, he's a one defenders. Even he's always that sort of eight, seven, eight out of ten every Goldson for me. Yeah, um, it's sort of the other centre half that's been sort of in and out. Um, so he'll be a massive. He doesn't miss games either. No, no and who comes in for him? Faddy Jink. Who's the two then that go in? Yeah, well, if you're if I'm Stephen Hamill, mate, I'm going Malt and Van Veen up top, mate, and going physical and direct. Nah, it's not bad that Van Veen. Who's going to come in? Is it Sands that might come in? Sands King, King. I think he'll go with boy. King. But even Sands, like uh, I mean, Sands a midfield player, a defensive midfield player. So they'll maybe need that kind of. I see fit actually. Sands. Ah, he's know, on the bench. Yeah. So yeah. See, that's another thing. Sometimes you see boys that are on the bench and uh, they don't get a sniff at so it. You got that. a cat. <laughs> <laughs> How are Scottish clubs still going to improve in Europe financially? How Your do we back are it? Dead, <laughs> 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 Do I'm the only man taking a serious idea? <laughs> <laughs> what well, I turned up for the news? I'm thinking you're a bit of a clown. You're too serious. <laughs> Come on! I know you're talking to me. I'm a change man. I'm a change man. Come on! <laughs> I know I'm trying to be myself a bit more serious. Realize, let's no, well, get back. Realize, Dennis. Nah, Dennis. No, I'm he's just thinking about how much money he can take a family, isn't he? <laughs> he's just trying to get his point across, man. The film, the debt collector. <laughs> who, who you take money Featuring out? Featuring uh-huh. <laughs> Who can I get me money out of? <laughs> no, but um, I'm looking at... Um, what Ten free ma- scooters and Mother companies and that. Aye. No, no, did, who, I moved did, on. No, it was like so the guy who gave you the free scooter. We spoke about, we spoke about it the other day. That's brilliant, him, by I, the I, way. I touch of class. That, that I, I thought nowadays the way the world is, like, you get a lot of horrible people out there now. It's like, great to see that. <laughs> he's like, he's three here. Uh, he's he's having been, be be, be, be been good. He's having been good. Too much nonsense. But no, I was thinking about it. I was talking to my dad about it the other day. I was saying to him about it. What day? Was it Tuesday? Where were you talking? Just on the phone. Kitchen table. On the phone? On the phone. Because he said to me, he was like, and I was like, it's very hard for Scottish clubs now financially. He's like, I know, but you can't just keep making that as an excuse. If they're in that tournament, you've got to go for it. And I, and I agree with that. But how, for a sort of Scottish point of view, and, and our clubs going into Europe because it's it's been it's been difficult this season for the Scottish clubs. How do we? What do we do though? Because it's not going to change, is it? We're not going to be able to spend millions on players or. Aye, but Rangers got a European final last year, competing against Dortmund. Leipzig teams with, with much much bigger budgets. Phone your dad never, and see what he says. We never we never heard <laughs> any of that. And you need to look at the way the league's set up as well. You look uh, at the clubs that are put fans on the phone to your dad. Go and speak to his dad for two minutes. Go keep, keep. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a good it was a good wee debate we had. It is, it is. But, but I, my thing is when and I don't like it is when we do talk about I know I brought it up, but Rogers used to do it all the time. We kind of compete with these. I don't like that. You're in the Champions yeah. League, you need to go for it. You need to get your best shot, unless there's no point in just turning up. We, well, we may as well not turn up. We know we've not spent anywhere near them, mm. so you still need to find it a is way. Very di- I, I, I get it, it is very difficult. You can't com- they, they, they can't compete with the budgets. That's, that's but then, Faddy, you, you can't Club Bruges, who, who have won, not beat Athletic Madrid, drew with Athletic Madrid, they've now qualified top mm. of the group mm. with Athletic going at um, Porto, and who was the other team? And they've not spent, the only thing is, they're, they've spent 40 million club rooms, but they've brought in 50. But mm-hmm. Belgium, but we, but we don't do that. It's Belgium just made, do a, that. made a decision 20 years ago or whatever. We need to be bringing in youth, youth players. players. We need mm-hmm. to be producing they players. You look at all the Belgians, you know, the golden generation, they call it, with the players that they've produced ah, through, the, through all their different systems. Mm-hmm. They've made that decision. The clubs are obviously, they've bought into that, and, mm-hmm. and that's what they do. These clubs nurture their own players and sell them on. And they reinvest into bringing more youth players. Aye. They're producing the players. Yeah. You don't hear them speak about budgets because you know th- that's where they are. That's that's their model, and that's that's how they'll go and Brilliant. approach it. But yeah. S- Scottish clubs will never bridge a gap that they need in terms of finances. No, it will never happen. And every year they play, whether it is in the Europa League, they'll come up against teams with two, three, four, five times the budget. No problem. What you got to do about it? Just say, I'm not, I'm not aye, playing. Aye. You should use, use pay too much. Use pay too much. Do you think the fans think we need to be 
uh, even as fans, more realistic. Yeah. I think we do. I, do, do, so, I know yeah. that. I think That's what do. I'm kind of starting to kind of get. Yeah. I'm getting that now a wee bit. Because you get excited and you think and you, you start to go, ah, aye, we can beat, we can do that. That's just a fan, isn't it? It's just the way we think. But, but it's to but get done like that change last it. night. That's a great feeling. But you, you have can, that. That's why he's a day, isn't it? Where you're not, you know, competing with a budget. How do you, how do you get your recruitment spot on? You know, you look at your Brentfords and, and teams like that, they, they've went down the, the data side mm. to produce or to find players that are going to come in. We spoke nice. about Bassi and Aribo. Somebody's identified them as players that can go and have an impact, have managed to sell them on. That, you know, if you're not bringing through enough players, that has to be what you do. So that's where your investment goes into making sure you get recruitment. Mm. You hear it all the time. Any course you're on, any manager here speaking, most important part of football, recruitment. Mm. You live and die by your yeah. recruitment. Yeah. Mm. It's a jump that big though because like in the SPL Kyogo looks mm. like a star and then the Champions League for me looks like he's a wee bit below that level. Is the jump that big? I think so. Aye, at the minute it is. Seems it like is. it does. And that's the evidence is there already this season. Just yeah. what we're saying, you get excited, you think your mind will even I always think, uh, even with, with Celtic, you know, at Celtic Park, they've always got a chance. And I think like that with Rangers, you know, at home, they've always got a chance, but uh, it just looks a wee bit a step too far for us at the minute. I think Celtic have created Being competitive, plenty I think. of chances. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But it's come down to poor finishing. Mm -hmm. So it's not even that they've been well beaten. The scoreline suggests they have been, but within the games you're thinking, right, they're well in they've the had games. Cha yeah. chances, not a chance and no a, no a lucky chance. The way they want to play, yeah. the fashion and their chances, and they're just not taking them. But that's and you're looking you at it going, how, how they not take Kyogre. their chances? That's where you need a 10 million, 12 you million pound striker, didn't you? Aye. Or even like Fiorentina, I mean, against Hearts, they've got a 60 million, haven't they? Okay. Aye. Pound striker there. So that's, well, in saying that. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If you put in Kunku in the Celtic team and Kyogo in the Leipzig team, that Aye. game could have went either way. Aye. You'd but I still, think, they're, like I still think they can, it's they're lines, causing teams pro problems, they're yeah. creating chances through their own good play. They're just not taking them. Is that down to the player's ability? I'm not sure because I think Kyogo's got uh, the least touches per goal. So, or the shots, say, in the league. He's maybe had 10 shots and he scored 8 goals, something something like that. So, he, he can finish. Yeah, yeah. It's just that the chances aren't being taken by not just him, Maeda, Maeda as well. Huh? Missed a few chances of Bada. You look at the, the games that they've played, they've missed chances where you mm. think, it's no, oh, that could have been a goal. It should be goals, yeah. and then they're being punished for it. So why are they missing these chances? Because that's then? where the top players have become mm. ice cold when they're in front Fair of goal. They just become calm. When I think when you look at a few of the Shelly boys you're talking about, they get too excited. So do you think maybe know? a year on after they've had the experience, experience of playing this, they maybe, then take the chances? And that's what, maybe, you, can, that's yeah. what yeah. you hope for. And that's what yeah. you hope for. You're hoping that for that experience will, 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 will bide you well uh, going into the fall of the season. It's amazing though, you hear like oh, the manager in Celtic he needs to change because they're losing but he he speaks about it all the time how they play and the manner in which they lose now as the game goes on I maybe they are playing a slower pass and no taking that risk of the forward pass again but if you're creating chances and you're not taking them is that down to the manager? No. Is it down to players, the style? That's players Is it me. down to your approach to the game? No you need to take your chances yeah. when they're presented to you. But what I will say is sorry to interrupt you Paul but the last couple of games, the sub, the timing of the subs Aye, have baffled me a bit. I mean, I thought Celtic were starting to come in at the second mm -hmm. half around about 60 minutes and I think you make your team weaker by bringing on Moy, Turnbull and Geo Marcus. So you take off a lot slower, eh? wasn't it? A lot, I think it just slowed the game down. Mm -hmm. I didn't think there was a need for the subs at 60 I minutes. Hax, I just... Hax Ibanovic was doing well. He's so did I, I thought he was doing really well. He's a good player, him. Aye, but look, that, that's what happens after the game. If Jackie Marcus scores, he's either you're like, oh, that's a great a great sub, but yeah. he doesn't take the chance. Moy's got a chance to go and mm -hmm. finish it. He tries Moy to square, square it, it unbelievably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if, again, it comes down to chances and moments in games. If they take the chances, you're turning mm. around and going, by the way, that was a masterclass. Class, yeah. He'd made the change, didn't look like they needed it, but he felt he needed it and they get the rewards. I think yeah. Celtic's front players have been really disappointing in the Champions mm. League. I mean, we've spoke about Angie's recruitment, how, how good it's been. All these players have sort of made an impact, but... I've been really disappointed with every one of them. And I looked at James Forrest, the quality he came on. And I'm not just saying that. Put, I think, two great boys in, Jackie Marcus. Who was the other one that had a chance? Um, Can't remember now. But the quality has been poor. Made his quality mm. has been poor for the Champions League. Um, Abada took half a half time Real Madrid. Again, the other night, got flipped up in the air and then came off. Tried, it's been poor. And I think Celtic's performances have been 
just the finishing though. It's the finish, aye. But just even the made it, see, 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 see the end product. Aye. Like, yeah, when well, he on. crosses it first time, these, these teams don't there. do that. These, these teams don't do that. Lives, it's mm. not that. When they go through, the, they either take their chances or they have a good one. We haven't made a fucking fucking ball at the park. Do you know what I mean? Lives, mm. didn't have loads of chances, did they? No. Nah. They were just really clinical when they got them. Um, and and the wee fella like his opening goal, he was having a shocker or not? Yeah. Mm. Verna. Wasn't he? Holy, man, did you get the ball, mate? He's dog-shaking him. He's dog-shaking him. He's dog And then he comes <laughs> first, isn't he? But, and then he goes and does it. But remember, this team is getting beaten. When he first, before Ange came in, they are getting beat at home by teams like Ross County. They're now going to win the Champions League Shakhtar Donetsk. I thought they dominated the game. I think for Ange's first year in the in the Champions League, I think he's been competitive. I think if you give him another... Transfer window and then another go to next year. I think they'll do it well. No, I'm I just really saying. That I, I'm only saying because it, before the group and how much I think think of Ange and what I think how they play and before the the, the group started, I said I fancy Celtic to qualify. No, I've no. So then, but then certain things have happened since then. So you go away and you, if you lose your best yeah, centre half, it's tough. Yeah. If you lose your best centre midfield player, it's tough. Ultimately, they've had chances to win every game, and they've no taken mm -hmm. them. And we've spoken Missing about key players. the momentum in games, the energy levels rise when you get your goal. If you've had so much pressure, so many chances, you're not taking them, then the team goes up the park and scores. It does take that wee bit of energy off you. You need to then fight again. You're fighting mentally to say, right, we need to be better. Maybe that brings attention. But in all the games they've had, you could e they could easily have come away with a win because of how many chances they've created now. Mm -hmm. Reality is they haven't. So the question marks are going to be asked, but I, I agree with you. I think the longer they go, because they've got a style of play that the manager won't, won't change for. The longer they do it, and the more tests they get at that level, you would expect the better they will become. Yeah. They can see that a lot though, don't they? Celtic. What is it, nine goals in four games? Mm -hmm. But that's three were against Real Madrid. Uh, it's yeah, it's yeah. later then, on in games. But then the way if you yeah. like to play, if they take the chances, then you're saying, well, it is worth mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Um, like I don't know, but the right. I think they need to, I think they need to stand for, for like the, in the attacking areas. I really do. But where do you go and get a st the strikers? Are like sixty for strikers at that level? Mm. But the most sixty million quid Champions League strikers, mm. sixty million quid, isn't it? I know. Where are you getting that place? Yeah. So that's why it's so hard to compete. If you can't, yeah, they're, <clears> they're, they're going to get the front, somebody, are you? Their, their options in the front areas are, are brilliant. It's just that they're not taking their chances. Mm -hmm. It is really simple. All right, on well, the domestic stuff. Fadi was at a meeting for Varda Day. Yep. Aye, How's it go? Aye, that was good. Did it go? Was it good, really? Aye, it was interesting. Right. Can you, can, you a wee, can, you get, can you make a long story short for us on that? No. no, it was just about the. Some she of said the, Bobby Madden done it. Some of the off. Naked. No. <laughs> what they did, what, what they using to measure the Bobby Madden's ass? <laughs> what <did> <laughs> you... <laughs> so what is it? How, what they didn't measure the lines? Is it just the same as the Premier League one? Uh, no. You don't they've, like going to this, do you? No, it's... Uh, really. No, they've got... They'll have a... They'll have it in place where they can measure the lines. They spoke about how... What what makes it offside with the lines, you know, touching or overlapping. Um, and if there's a millimetre, you know, and the way the attacker... There's a millimetre <laughs> in there. Asking you for Cebito, <laughs> that. Or whatever it is, the, the distance... Cebito, that's what they use to measure it, offside, it? But it was just about the, the reasons why they would intervene. Um, for for decisions, how they're going to how they're going to do it. Fadi, did you see Rodri's goal for Man City? No, no, I said. Uh, and they want to spoke about this. What, did they speak about Aye, it? Because it directly criminal. leads to an advantage. It doesn't matter if it's accidental or no. It, uh, because it deliberately skiff, leads to a goal, it, it should be off. But that's not oh. the application of the law. It's the law. Aye. It's and there was another one. <coughs> was it uh, Thiago when they were talking about? Because Michael Oliver. Oh, that was a shambles. But, no, but because what he was saying was correct. They were explaining that I can't get it completely right. It's not a pen, is it? Do you think it is? I think it is a pen by the letter of the law because he doesn't touch the ball, but he touches his feet. Well, I saw one. I, I, I saw one that uh, Party Thistle against Inverness. It's the exact same thing. Ah, Doherty, yeah. the guy just catches him from behind. So and, uh, that's no given, you know. So, but that's obviously in the championship. Ah, it's not going to go too far. But you see, this, you know, it, it changes every week, oh, doesn't it? it? But that it, it one, was good. That, it was good and explained. Like the, if I'm a referee, the offside one, if I'm a referee with that up. one, it skiffs his horn, I'm going like that. That's a fucking goal. I'm letting that go. <laughs> You're like Mike Dean. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, I'm letting that uh -huh. go. Because it's, it's skiffed them and it was a brilliant moment. Oh. You take that away in the game. That's what just Aye, but if it's in, if it's in the laws of the game and it goes against your team and they give that decision, you're buzzing, aren't you? 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's no how it's applied, it's what the law is. So are you a fan of this coming to Scotland? Um I it think to come I, it's, it, look, there's gonna be there's, there's gonna be worry. problems with it. Of course there is, because no matter what decision has come to there's there it's saying that should have counted because it doesn't mean anything and everybody wants to see good goals, but when it's against your team you'll go, oh, I don't think that should be. Mm -hmm. And it's no it's just to help the referees get more decisions right. Mm -hmm. Um how long it'll last, I don't know. Um, and you see the problems they're having in England. I mean, the game, the Arsenal have a pool game. So all yeah. the incidents in the game, you're thinking, how's, how, how have they came to the yeah. decisions? You know, the boys, his hands up there and it hits him. It's a, it's a penalty. Pen. They don't so get it. How many get, who is VAR then? Is it a couple? <laughs> <laughs> he is VAR. Is, is it one guy, two, what is it? These wee Where guys are sitting. Wee are they in a wee duke? Where no, are they? they're in a, a nice big room with all the, all the yeah, technology. Handed? No, uh, I've not, I can't tell you where it is. All right. I'm going to find it. Are you serious? Aye. I'm going what, to is it like a hidden in the place? Aye, it's... Just That's amazing, isn't it? Imagine it was like a one-bed in so, fucking post office. No, so you a, can't, a, you a, can't tell us, but you know. <laughs> I know, aye. Right. Oh, you're the Imagine dead collector. That, yeah, let's go and find it. Let's go and find it. You're going to the back of my boot again. I'm going to the back of the motor again. Is he going back in the book? Are you going back in the book? That's what you tell us. So do you know where it is? I can't even make it next week. He knows where it is. Do you know where it is? Aye, of course I do. It's either it's either at the Orium. Could be at the Orium. That's a shout. Are you swearing a secret set? Well, I don't know. I'm not telling you. Because I don't know if I'm allowed to say where it is. This far is very secretive. Is this a... It's the protect the referees. Come on. And I'm not wow. the biggest fans, but you're protecting by the way, games. Come on. The first game they're using it in is... Mate, that's Celtic and Hearts. Time cash. I mean... Will that be a real well, baptism? <laughs> Will that be a real baptism of fire? Is it no? <laughs> that's by the way, what a game to date, Tynecastle. That's the wrong game to start it with. Who's the ref? That, that could be game? Meher. That could be Meher. That could be Meher. But that's what makes. See, the stopping in our game. What makes your game great is how exciting and Aye. end to end. Mm -hmm. Well, this, I think this will take something away from it now. It depends. Aye, it like depends. It. The thing that the the reason was to to let us know what they'll be when they'll stop it, when they'll review it. It, I mean, it's every decision, the game's constantly reviewed. So no, now when you're watching a game, you go, surely that must go to VAR. Uh, they look at everything, but they can only intervene when it's a clear and obvious error. If it's around about the penalty box, if it leads to an attack, they can't just be everything. Red cards, uh, serious foul play, you know, all that, all that yeah. stuff. But if somebody has a shot and it deflects and goes out for a, it should be a corner and it's a goal kick, they're not going to go, that's, that's a, a corner. Guy, right, whatever. Yeah. So it's, the decisions that they're hoping matter. So are they constantly in contact with the mm. ref? Aye. Oh, right. Okay. Varsley, I think there. that's exciting. Do you know what I do? Like, I quite like it. It's new that we don't know where they are. Remember? Aye. Uh, uh, we don't know where they are. We need to find them. Do you know what they are? Mean you'll go out to get them. Do they get like, food in that? <laughs> do they get food in that? <laughs> do, they, do they get food? Uh -huh. I would imagine so. It's their work, isn't it? So they're just sitting there fucking no, they're, eating it's, shite watching it's, telly. It's, it's looks, Kyle will be perfect it for it. It looks man. brilliant. <laughs> it looks brilliant. They're, they're trying ah. to do it as the best they can. Mm -hmm. They're two guys that will be on each game. Two, right, right. Two. Do we and do we know these guys? Um, you know, know, tell us. No, they'll be so referees. Great. So referees, grade referees one, that are still referees. Grade, grade one referees. Because in England, it's referees that have retired. Am I right in saying uh, that? No? Only within a certain time. Mm -hmm. So if you've no refereed for three years, I think it is, you can't can do it. it. So if you're recently retired, then mm -hmm. you, you can do it because you're still a Category 1 uh, referee. Be a good job by it, isn't it? It's exciting, no, isn't it? No, it wouldn't be. What, the VAR? You wouldn't like no, to do that? No. I mean, you don't know who you are. Huh? Aye, but you still need to constantly <laughs> concentrate and watch, watch everything. Aye, everything. And then you need to make your decision. And it, it's one of them where you could have a wee conversation. I don't think that is. I think mm. it is. And then yeah. how long could that go on for? Imagine you know what I mean? that. You, 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 you tell the ref. Do you know what I mean? Oh, and you need, to, don't know you need to say how every time an attack stops, you need to let them know it's a new phase. And oh, fuck uh, it. Honestly. No, it's it's, it's so going to be, oh, it's so going to be good. hard work for them. Well done. Do you think they would ever, do the boys would ever sneak a booze in? Imagine a blue chip. That'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Imagine a steaming day. Bumping in the refs here. That'd be typical Scottish, wouldn't it? 
عشان تجيب كيف I feel I brought the mood in a wee bit of uh, you you know, very like serious. Oh, come on. You've been very serious. Been very very I think it was your, 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 your dad's con for it. Uh, he's told me he's knuckled down a wee bit. Go and phone him now. Phone him now. My phone him? Uh, I say, wait till your faddy's pointing about the Scottish days. See what he says. Get him on speaker. Right, okay, I'll, I'll ask him what to say. I'll ask him what to say like right, but don't say him. Imagine he said something. No, say something about finances and then say, well, how did... I had no stitch him up, say. Would Maybe you agree that finances are too... <laughs> Oh, that was in my head. Remember the rod running around? I'll ask him. Dancing about the living room with the. I'll ask him. 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 i no, I was just asking. What did you? I'm doing this the cooking show today, so but I don't know what I'm talking about. So, what do you think? What do you think you say? What do you think I say like that all night? Aye, I know. I don't know. Yeah, I, was, I, I didn't. I, I wasn't taking it in, so I don't know what to say. I don't know what. Did you think you had quite a few chances, but? Aye. But it's so hard with the finances though, isn't it? Don't know, but the good guys go to chances, you should put them born in there. The joke on says, you definitely chances, they're Alright, anything else? Uh, do you, do you know, you that aye, aye, aye. Well, see, like, I need to rock the size of the door. Okay. Right, bye, bye, bye. Hey, you're all, you're all, you're all, man. Winners the game. He no should do all slides in there. He should do He's confirmed. He you should do that. <laughs> your dad should, <laughs> your dad should do that. He's good, isn't he? Aye. aye. Just keeps some chances, doesn't he? I like to wait. Mmm. <laughs> I wonder who's doing there. Mm. He did. <laughs> <laughs> mm. well, so did shy, he, he, <laughs> he said to his dad, ah, you can't deal with the finances. Your dad shot you down ah, and you won't do it again. You definitely ask him that. Do you, you phone him and ask him what you should say on these shows, didn't you? Ah, but doesn't he really get it? And that was good, though. That no, was good. Was you good. I'm surprised that that's the best was. thing you've ever said on this. <laughs> 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 what was he talking about then? Why did he say her name? I never heard of him. McCoy's McCoy's saying the tap to me. He's gonna to get to you know who. Oh, is he? Can't, oh, a guy. can't be named. Nobody they heard it anyway. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't know. No, no, I, never heard I it just saw the panic. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a guy. I wonder what mm. he actually was doing. That's why I put him so near punch. Just by the punch <laughs> 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 oh. by the, I'll tell you how my fit was though. Dundee United, we're talking about whether they're gonna struggle. Mm. Two wins in the bounce, and you're thinking now top six is a realistic target now, isn't it? Unbelievable. I think Hibs did. Hibs had a lot of chances now. I didn't see the game. So, I don't. But fair play, you know, I'm watching, watching uh, the, the wee run of highlights, couple of minutes of highlights. Aye, they did have chances, but. So, did you know, United have, have won the game, as you say, two, two great results. After the, after the one at the weekend against Aberdeen, when Liam Fox is talking, you're like, it looks like you've just lost 4 0, mate. Come yeah, on, enjoy yeah, it. Yeah. But, it, you know, his point was spot on. It doesn't matter winning that game. You you can win any any one game. It's how you follow up. They've yeah, managed to do it. That's good. Yeah, Absolutely top Really door. good. I think we should prank you someday. Yeah. Martindale. No. <laughs> See we no. Griffiths in Livingston. Is he? No. Either. Maybe a wee deal there. Aye. Uh, just on United, they go to Ross County at Dingwall. It's a good one to have, isn't it? Because Ross County are a bit. I know they got a result a couple of weeks ago, but bottom of the league, coming off the back of two wins, could put a big mm -hmm. gap between them and Ross County. Is it a good time for them to play them? It just That's makes Dundee United feel a bit better. <laughs> it, it, they, they'll feel confident going into it, yeah. having you know, beat Aberdeen and Hibs, but that is a danger. Then this is, a, this is 
the next one yeah. that's more important because the mm. players naturally raise their game against teams that they maybe see either above or on a level with. And they disrespect, they'll be looking at Ross County saying we should be beating them. So the pressure is now on for them to win, to win the third game in a row, which would probably for me suit Ross County. Mm. And look, County, although they won against Livingston, they get a bit of yeah. a, a bit of doing it. Aye, a bit of a doing, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, Martindale wasn't too happy <coughs> at the end of the game for obvious reasons. They had their chances, but they dominated. But sometimes that's you just need to. <coughs> <clears throat> Can I try and win by whatever means and, and they go to that victory, didn't Winner they? But, uh, aye, but then up at Dundee United, that's, I'm, I couldn't see where they were going to get a win. That, Aberdeen, well, no, see, that's see last week, <clears throat> I was edging towards taking Dundee United and then when Mer, we spoke about it, I went at the end, I went, oh, Aberdeen. I don't know, sometimes I should just go with instinct, but uh, but i never seen that before, nothing, man. No, no, Do you hear ever come in, in bed with you and Carol? Uh, Yes. Does it? Aye. At night? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? I don't know. <laughs> you're, you're wanting... Uh, <laughs> you, <laughs> are cats infectious? <laughs> what? What's your cat's are name? cats infectious? What's he? What's he? What do you mean? Like, aye. see dogs, you pure and fond of dogs, but the cats don't really bother aye. you, do they? Can Affectionate. I? Tom cats up. <laughs> Tom <laughs> cats up. <laughs> but do you know, see, when I was here, here, this one, I've been back to... I've been back to... I went back to a bird suit. <laughs> Mate, I went back to a bird suit. Was she infectious? No. <laughs> did, he, did he never let affection out, did he? <laughs> you gave infection out. Infection? Aye. I went back to a bird suit one night. <laughs> woke up and the, I woke up and the cat was on us, right? Cat was like on your cro- face, crawling about his eye in my face. <laughs> 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 right, mate. So, <laughs> there you go, me going there. <laughs> Trying to tell that story. Come right, on. Uh, right, fair sleep. Woke up. Can you open my eyes? I <laughs> left reaction for the cat. Ah, <laughs> fucking honestly, <laughs> <eyes. laughs> oh no, you're too. Uh, I'm not a cat fan, mate. Fuck uh, that. Uh, Creepy wee bastards, cats. Uh, <laughs> Do you think? No, I didn't get any of did I? Oh, aye, did they? Huh? Oh, aye. So you took them. <laughs> the gay, the person, yes. the owner, love. Oh, yeah, they always allow to beat it. No uh, interest. Uh, so, where does it sit on your shoulder? <clears throat> Everywhere. Uh, aye. Do you stroke it? See what you're saying. Aye. That's often. <laughs> so, it sits on your chest? <laughs> aye, that's what cats do. What's happening here, man? Honestly. Is that ever done a shake no. on your chest? No, no, that's what they're very clean. <laughs> very <laughs> clean. Aye. You love it, don't you? When it does aye. that. Right, here we go. I'll tell you about the game of the weekend. Turn back your chest. <laughs> <laughs> tell you a cracker. Two big, two big guns going for each other. Aberdeen versus Hearts. Oh, but they're not big guns just now, are they? <laughs> no. But it's a cracking game, isn't it? Because it's a lot of pressure on who's going to win this. I think whoever wins this mm. could finish third this season. There you go. Do you think? No. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a big game, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Who do you fancy for Aberdeen Hearts? Don't tell me who you think, actually, because we're going to do that, but what do you think of the game? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what you asking? <laughs> Hearts need to start picking up, didn't yeah. they? Well, Hearts have got a big game against Fiorentina. Fiorentina. Uh, is Hearts out there, you know, like, can they qualify? Uh, the the oh, conference are they completely out now? Uh, I think it'd be very I difficult. think they must be, because they're still to go away to Turkey, so they've, I wonder if Robbie Nielsen start going, do you know what, it might be, may start concentrating on the league change now. a few players I don't know I don't know if you can do that because these boys have yeah. qualified for that, so does he have to go and play field in a bit who, yeah. who knows for yeah. me I'd fancy Hearts you're talking about who would uh, I know they've got a lot of injuries I know Aberdeen I hope, Aberdeen try to play a wee bit I don't think they've got the players to play at times for the no, back right mm-hmm. got uh, skills nah. to play now oh, uh, the boy Richardson and that as well I just think they get caught all too often I mean I don't see a lot of them, but I listen to a lot of the, the stuff on a certain radio station no. and I hear mm. a certain guy talk about them at times. You so. couldn't tell if they were winning or losing though. I don't know. <laughs> <some Yeah>, <laughs> <Miller. laughs> Aye, but, uh, but what you often hear is that when they try to play too much football for the back, they get they get found out. But I just... Uh, so just kick you up the pitch like everyone else does, I think. Aye, maybe. But I just think it's Hearts... Go, but. I'd fancy Hearts in that game. I don't aye. know, I've just got a wee... Sneaky film because I think Robbie Nielsen will I think start Aberdeen taking a target the league a wee bit more. Uh, I think Aberdeen do them. Hearts have got a better squad. Hearts have got a better team in Aberdeen. Hearts have got a better squad than Aberdeen to <clears throat> Better players for me. When everybody's fit, I, yeah. I would say so. I would say so. That's the team that you know Hibs Aberdeen done the United. Mm. Obviously, no. With the start of the season, they're all trying to chase. So Hearts, you would say so. But um, they, they found it tough coming mm. off the back of the European games. Performance mm. levels, energy levels, it's it's tough. But, but did you find it tough see with Everton when you played Europe? Um 
it is hard is because it? you're in you're in hard games. You're trying to recover to go for another hard game again. Mm, yes. um, and sometimes you just you're travelling. The travel as well. People Did don't you, yeah. take any account. The travelling's tough. Mm. You're maybe getting back. We played a game. I think we were in we were in Ukraine, and it was a late game. The kick off time. <clears throat> sorry, the flight times four or four or five hours. So you finish the game, you fly straight back. We'd go into Liverpool early hours of the morning, straight into a hotel, stay in the hotel, up, went training the next day. I think I think we played the Thursday or games a Saturday. That's how how bad it was, and it was early on the Sunday. So you it takes a lot. You, nothing worse when you're flying yeah. back, tired. You just want to get into your own bed. Yeah, you're getting yeah. a hotel to go and then recover. Try and recover for a, for a big game at the weekend. That is tough. Yeah, you're, you're, I think you're struggling for the travel yesterday. I am fatigued. I've got, I'm shaky. We were in London there and back one day. Some journey away home. Had a few wee beers and all that. Brilliant. Did you? Aye, uh, brilliant. Because sometimes I don't mind the bevy, but if only you had a wee energy drink, could pick you up. Or something well, I had, we had, we had a couple, didn't we? Right, brilliant, wasn't it? Did you had a couple this morning. I should have actually had free coffees, but here I, I came up with a brown thing, Faddy. Top three, didn't I? Top three managers you've worked under. No, I came up with. It. <laughs> hey, man, hey, what? How are you agitated? <laughs> <laughs> Derek, you know, top three managers you were. Because you, 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 you watched it, it was Carrigan and Roy Keane, didn't it, didn't they? Uh, Monday, I, I, I'm sure that, see, when they were asked the question, though, they probably asked that day, that morning, did yeah, they think about it? Aye. <laughs> <laughs> no, just yeah. not. By the way, <laughs> best Why team managers you've worked under. <laughs> Derek, can you, you <clears throat> think of your top three players well, you we'll played next week? Give time to think about it. Well, we do that. Next week then? Why don't we do you this Big week? Big jock. No? Big jock for me. Jock Wallace. Mm -hmm. aye. Number one. <coughs> aye, Greg, you signed me. Jock come in then obviously it was Graham, mm -hmm. Graham Sooners. <coughs> but uh, manager, I mean, was definitely uh, Big Jock. Number two? Big jock. Uh, number two would be, you're not going to believe this one, uh, John Lambie. Was he? How no? I, I was there for a wee, because people just think John was... Old school. He was mad. He was a manager, he, but... Aye. And Three that's years. what he did. He managed us. Mm. Uh, he managed us really well. So I, I, John was my manager at uh, Thistle for a short period, and then at Falkirk. Mm. Uh, so certainly John Lambie. I met John him after, Lambie. Sorry, I met him after Aye. one of your games. He played Thistle, and I'd went into one of the lounges, and I'd never met him before. He wasn't my manager, and he shook my hand and went, "Hi, you're a good player, son." You need a right good boot up the ass. Aye. <laughs> that was it. He just told you. Thanks, Mr. Lambie. He told you the way it was. Aye. He didn't mess about. And that was like Jock. He didn't mess about. Weren't they too mm. tactical? But they made you feel good about yourself. So when you went to that yeah, part, everything. you felt good. Uh -huh. And I think that's the bottom line. Thing, as a manager, aye. Number three. Uh, God, I'm trying to think now. Let's go to me. Uh, <clears throat> I tell you what, I liked working under him. Believe it or no, Big Joe, Big Joe Jordan. Oh, did you see your manager? Aye, Hearts. I didn't, didn't it? Aye, two shot fought with him at San Siro. So. Uh, oh, Joe would have. I'm a dog. Aye, I'd have done him. I liked Joe, uh, so I did. Uh, when he first came in there, he upset a few boys in that Hearts dressing room. Uh, and the, the reason he upset them because he just told them the way it was. Again, a bit like Jock and that. He's just honest with you, you know. And But I liked to. He was physical, oh, the mm. training. The training was hard. Uh, we're always bang at it, and by that time I was enjoying that side of the, the training. But I liked Joe Jordan, just a lot of respect for him. I remember him playing against Everton, a testimonial. Everton come up to plays, and Joe come on at half time. It's not in each at half time, and uh, he wasn't in the dressing room. He was in the wee warm up area and popped my head in, and uh, he had this old sweat on, right? And then just come into the dressing room, he put the tap on, the teeth come out, mm. he went out, scored the two goals, uh, and battered. The Everton back four about like rag dolls by the way, but uh, he was Probably. immense. But uh, what I, a hero, Joe, Joe Jordan. Jordan. Mm -hmm. I like Joe Jordan. Jim Gannon. So there you go, Jim right after. Aye. Um, you don't need prep time, do you, mate? I no, do. I just I've got too many. Yours is a hard one though, because I'm thinking of Big Egg. Mm -hmm. um, Davy Moyes is a cracker. Who was the mother manager when you came through? Billy Davis. Oh, a good manager. Eric Black player, was after him. What a player Billy Davis was. Brilliant. What? Aye. Aye, and aye. their own way. Just aye, I aye. couldn't aye. pick there to help your development. Every single one of them. He was yours. Brilliant, good player, Billy, wasn't he? Aye, you? Billy Davis. Ah, was Eric Black used to do that. Aye, what you're saying about Joe Jordan and training. Eric's back was absolutely mm -hmm. gone. 
but sometimes he'd join in. <laughs> I used to look up and go, oh my God, jumping up with the elbow. Hey, Jordan no, no, Eric Black, 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 smashing into tackles. Like, you would never think Eric Black would be like, he seems like quite a oh, no. conserved guy. Oh, Is no. that the right one? Aye, he'd, he'd a wee bit. Did he, huh? Aye, he'd bellied a lot, actually. Some player as well. Right. Shame uh. his, injury, uh, his career was cut short with injury, but th there's too many for me that I think it'd be unfair to say because of what they all done for me in, at different stages. Who did Carragher say? Pick. Roy Evans. <clears throat> did they actually? Oh, can't, can't they never asked him that one? Or who, who no, did... they asked him the top three managers in the Premier League that they're like. Oh, right. Keane said the Brentford manager, Graham Potter and Pitt. Mm -hmm. That's right, aye. I saw mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So you're going to say your three favourite managers? Uh, who I work with? You number one. <laughs> <laughs> no me. That is. Other than me, come it's on, no, stop that. No, no, three others. Lenny two. Lenny? Aye. Uh -huh. Three's order, I've never seen him do an order like it. Um, and <clears throat> Ross Maffey. Ross <laughs> 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 like Maffey. still game, Ross Maffey. I was thought it was still on the roof. When you spoke to Ross Maffey. He's got to be. Who? I suppose, aye. He's got to be in Do you know what Ross Maffey always used to say when you can't speak to you about that yet? What the fuck's up now? <laughs> <laughs> you, you're the canny, weren't you? <clears throat> Aye, the canny. Number one, who's two? To Danny Wilson, loved. Loved Danny brilliant, Wilson, Danny brilliant. Wilson? brilliant. And number three, probably Jimmy McAnally. Aye. Got my kind of love back for football. It's mad, isn't it? Uh, Danny Wilson's top, mate. You said, did he, what was his one hand? He was the manager when the canny pushed the, the referee at Sheffield Wednesday. Was he? He was the canny's manager and they hated each other. And every time he played his team, the Canio would deliberately call him Dennis Wilson instead of Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow we play Dennis Wilson. He's like, you know his name's Danny, why are you doing that, man? <laughs> Just to be a little bit. Uh, no, Danny Wilson was top class. Can I think of the old father you had? Uh, Betty Folks, Walter Smith, uh, so George Burley, news. Craig Levine. Oh, you've had too many to pick. Mark McGee. Who was your St Johnston manager? Tommy Wright. Right. Gary Naismith, my ex-teammate. I think the obvious two for me are Moyes and McLeish. They're the obvious you two. You love McLeish, don't you? Big Ek was just a brilliant guy. Mm -hmm. Like, Aye. good at good at what he what he done, but just he got you feeling good. He he, he got me. He, he liked how I was. Um, and man management was unbelievable. Mm. Brilliant could, man could you manager. Could you go through people, Faddy? Aye. Aye, but, but done the right way. Aye, he he wasn't. A, he wasn't a big ranter or, or that. He knew how to how to deal with players. He'd, he'd, sometimes he'd do it. Sometimes he'd go for you. Um, Is that a player on the But it was good. It? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. But Moise and I spoke about him. He was ahead of his time, wasn't he? His attention to detail, hmm. his demands, his standards. I don't know if I... I think I know well enough to call him Moise. Did you see that? Oh, that was pretty pretty that's fucking Moise. <laughs> <laughs> I think you know him. Sorry, I should sure be saying gaffer, but it doesn't really add to the story. Uh, if you don't know who I'm talking about. Um, you but he has attention to themselves. detail. Do I make the players feel good about themselves? That's, that's that man sad. does that. That's what he does. Oh. Ah, he does. He does. Once you go and see him, you can see him on the side shouting encouragement mm -hmm. to good. his players. That's, isn't it? He, he, makes him, he makes him feel good about himself when he joins. Ah, when he joins in, it's important. Yeah, and when I take so my treasures, the boys feel. No, <laughs> I take my treasures right down. They feel brilliant. Don't they? <laughs> right here we go, Derek. I'm coming straight to you. No <laughs> messing about, mate. Here's a cracker to start. Aberdeen. Don't know what I'm shouting for. Missing your car. Go, oh, go, start again. Aberdeen. You know, you're looking forward to seeing Lucy. I'm not going to speak to you. Does she run to you as soon as you walk in the door? Yes, she comes to me. Aye. Does she? Aye. That's amazing. I'm a gaffer. Aye. Got cancer. They are affectionate. Uh -huh. well, you are obsessed with you're you? infectious. Infectious. <laughs> <laughs> infectious. And I was like, I still do the care of diseases. The shiver come in the shower oh, when you're in the shower. I kissed a lot. No. no. You know, I could be get a, a oh. fork to do a cooking show for your house next week. Oh, <laughs> oh, that'd, that'd be amazing. amazing. I would love to do that in your house. That'd be oh, amazing. You always want to get into people's houses. I like bet he's got nice food. I bet he goes to MS. <laughs> and he can, Fanny can cook an uh, organ. He goes to M&S 100%. M&S is brilliant. Every time, not even just for the special nights. No, I, I, He's Monday to Friday. No, all the time. But I do like M&S. You go. You're pushing your food in. No, I'm not. Aldi, you go. No, you're not. You go Mate, to I go to Aldi every day. Go to Aldi as well. He goes to that one up West End. It's the same as M&S, the same stuff. Waitrose. No, it's You're not. obsessed with Waitrose. The Certain things are. You can taste it. Aye, aye. Marks and Spencer's is brilliant. Marks and Spencer's. Marks. That's <laughs> right, you need to start what, showing him a wee bit more infection. Come what, on. <laughs> <laughs> what cat food does Lucy eat? 
When are we having the review of the second part of the documentary? Has that been done? No. What review? Aye. Aye. Let's do it now. That was good. Aye. It was good. Mm. Uh, and it. you didn't like? No. I liked how you were reflective. I think that's a Aye. massive Aye. part. Yeah. Where you spoke after, I think it was a Berwick game, was it? Uh-huh. And you, you said you wouldn't do that again. Yeah. You no, it was different. a civil game. Uh-huh. Civil. Uh-huh. Aye. You, you wouldn't do it. I liked that. It's good because like a lot of managers have been playing players. to watch, mate. I don't know, I, I must say. It is good to watch. No, I have you, to use it, it's been no, off No, but it is for you because you can watch it and, and analyse it. Uh-huh. It's a tough watch though. Because a lot of managers don't have the chance. Yeah. They'll, know, they'll, they'll maybe think, I need to, did I do this or did I say that? You've got everything following you, so I liked it. You, it need be, you need to look at yourself first you and foremost, don't you? Of course you Massively. Know. My first, you need to get better. I'm not fucking finished that, I could you know what I mean? Oh. 100% you can't wait for Every the next aspect. one watch that game again Friday oh mate the Glenn off I, I, I can watch I'm getting into the, skipping that the Aye. third documentaries the, the third episode is going to be unbelievable because I change in, after, in the third one are you then starting to go about winning, winning or, uh, you know, you're winning goes mate it's after I say in the documentary it's certain thing happens that makes us rethink everything mate about winning about just what, how you talk to boys what you <clears> expect <throat> for them <clears throat> but, but the pressure's on you early to uh, win, to win uh, like any manager, yeah, you win. Yeah. You need to win. You can have the best ideas in the world. If you're not winning, you're not going to get a chance to to see them come to fruition. Yeah, you don't like talking about yourself, do you? No, I like seeing that. I'm just you know, you keep asking us to talk I'm about just that. <laughs> <laughs> I know he, he never does like uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> that was about five minutes ago you asked him that. <laughs> you're, you're taking hearts away at Aberdeen, are you? Aye. No. Going for it. No chance. Right. I know that's good. <laughs> going so, um, Mother <laughs> Rangers, oof. Oof. I'm going to go Rangers. going to be difficult, but so it will. They'll need right. to, their confidence obviously took a knock, but I'm going to go with Rangers. Last league win for Motherwell against Rangers. Your heart's really on your, your, heart's really on your head in these. Two. Hear that? Sorry. Small teams. Last mm-hmm. time Mother beat Rangers in the league. In the league, oh, Paddy played. 2002. No Is it? No. Well, no, just at home, at the full time. There's no one in the mm-hmm. league. It's just one of the games. 2002. Paddy, it's just wow. it's one of the games yeah, as well. Right, yeah. Mother, are a, I think they're Mother were good. Say. I know that they obviously came unstuck at Hibs. I fancied them to beat Hibs, but. They're Should have had a penalty as well. Aye. That was discussed mm-hmm. at the VAR meeting as well. It was not happy. Well, yeah. <laughs> after, after last night's uh, result and that, people look at that game and think ah, Rangers could get turned down. I think that's when the players will step up. So I'm going to go Rangers. Um, Ross County, Dundee United. Oh. I think Dundee United. I'm going away wins there. You go, right, okay. And then I'll go St Mirren, Kelly. You need to sign up and get the double the odds because double the odds for the first ten pound with the four Aye, hours. Oh, I'm going to go draw that game. Mm. I can see that a draw, like a two each, one each, two each. That one. Who? The Simon Kelly. Does Jane, Ro- Jane, Steve Robinson or Dale McInnes has got a cat? I think Dale has. <coughs> nah, he's a dog. He's a dog guy. Thanks. So. Uh huh. Mm. Don't know. I would. I'd put him down as a dog guy. So would I. You should no, get he's dog. sensitive. I'd have put him no, in the cat. But you can be well, sensitive with dogs. Can I just uh, say, Martin Dale's got a tiger I'm in it. <laughs> right, it's Martin Dale's got a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> it's they're, they're Carol. Carol loves cats. That's why. <clears throat> uh, She's the boss. Aye, exactly. That's it. So is the cat yeah. there drawn to her? How are you? No, me. Because uh-huh. I'm the one that feeds the. <laughs> The cat and looks after it, makes sure I. That's a joke, never. I think this whole thing's a joke. Nah, I'm the no, one who feeds the cat. The no, <laughs> no, no, and I do it for a pint or something. <laughs> if you get somewhere to be, mate, no, you're just desperate. Brian Paddy, I'm going to give you Livingston v St Johnston. Uh, I've been I've been rubbish, haven't I? I'm going to go. I'm going to go a draw. A draw. draw. Fence, draw. I think I'll draw. I'm heading towards St Johnston, but. Aye, but Aye, I'm going to okay. go for a draw to uh, try and change it up. Aberdeen v Hearts. <clears throat> draw. Draw, I know it. Aye. Motherwell v Rangers. Motherwell. Wow. <gasps> they wow. need to beat them at some point. And you don't know how Rangers are going to respond. They've got a few key injuries. Motherwell have been playing yeah. well. They're creating chances. I don't see them changing anything in their approach. They will go and try and get it forward to their, their guys that can cause problems. Big Van Veen, Derek's, you know member of the fan club mm. I'm going for a Motherwell victory and <clears throat> last Celtic v Hibs Celtic simple can I get asked 
Hey John, ask. Hey John, ask you. Get Fadi. Because you want to go to Sus. Man, Sus. I've never asked to go to Sus, has he? No, I have. Never, never. Motherwell v Rangers. Right, go there, Fadi. That's a draw. Two each draw. Two each. Aye. Right, you pick one. Right, I'll pick one. Aye, because I'm going to give you that. Ross County against Dundee United. It's a difficult one, that. Aye. That's a draw. That a draw. Two each draw, no. Aberdeen Hearts. I fancy Aberdeen. Aberdeen will do them. And we'll go away. <clears throat> Aye, I was going to ask you to tell. I'll go to St. St. Man Kilmarnock. Difficult ones. Is the is the boy back up front for St. Mirren? <laughs> is that what? You, is that what? <laughs> is that what? The guy you made the save. He was just spending for a game. Aye, Aye. Aye, they win. St. Mirren beat them. St. Man wins. <laughs> he's so important the way they play. Uh, he's pivotal. You know when players are out. Pivotal. Possible. So just before we go on. Boxing review if I had Connor Ben. Shocking mate, wasn't it? Terrible. Eddie Hearn by was getting absolutely slated. He's not said a word to us, he? Ah, he done an interview with Coon Cassis. Mm. Um, Simon Jordan. I, I just they're don't know why high. they try to get the fight on. Mental, wasn't it? I don't know why there wasn't any mere about if it was me in that situation and I knew I hadn't taken it and I'd be wanting to clear my name as soon as possible. I wouldn't want to be trying to just go on with it and deal with it after the fight. He'd be going and trying to. Trying in fact, there's rumours that he was found positive an uh, for a, 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 an OL. Yeah, I, I think. So. I think that you need to get the. You need to find out how he's taking it, why he's taking it. If it is contaminated, then you deal with. Aye. He still needs to get banned, but you deal with it differently. But for a sport like boxing, for somebody to be taken. If that's to raise the testosterone or if it's a masking agent for using something, mm -hmm. you know, more serious. For me in, in a sport like boxing, it should be a lifetime ban. You should you shouldn't get second saying. chances. And the thing is, it's, 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 no it's no something that gives you a, mm. a, a quick fix for a day or two. It's something that it builds your tissue. Okay, so yeah. that's let's that's gonna be there for a long, long time. So as so that's why it should be it's years life, or else you're lifetime, saying. Lifetime ban. No, that was set up president, man. Steroids are in to make you bigger and stronger. Mm -hmm. Against a guy that's no doing it, it's it's life threatening to them. Aye, but I'll get fired. You know what you've been taking, Joey? You need to get up the house oh. for the pussy, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> didn't you? But back for the pussy, can't didn't you? Uh, yes, need to get back and see me, Lucy. Aye, absolutely. Well, oh, he's absolutely brilliant. Yeah,